You wanted to know what the Matrix is, Neil? Trinity. Try to relax. This will feel a little weird. This is the construct. It's our loading program. We can load anything from clothing to equipment, weapons, training simulations, anything we need. So I don't know if you've seen The Matrix or not, but The Matrix is a, is a classic example of the ultimate virtual reality where, there, where the, the system is jacked right into your brain. Now, the classical way of talking about that and the way that you should talk about it, you know, don't talk about The Matrix. If you say these words, brain in a vat, you'll be tying into this discussion from long, long ago. It's a philosophical discussion of what actually in the end is reality. If you could take away all of the natural senses and take away all the natural behaviors and instead replace them with virtual inputs and virtual outputs, maintaining the brain, right, maintaining the processor exactly the same as it is, then would you have a complete immersive virtual reality that was indistinguishable from real life? That's a philosophical question. The Matrix obviously believes that you can, but The Matrix is the only movie, right? The Matrix can, can play with the idea. What I want you to think about is what would it really be like? How would you really do that in, in, in real life? And of course, we're nowhere near that, but we're certainly moving closer and closer to it. So the idea of the brain in the vat is that you can replace the entire input and output system with, um, uh, with artificial systems, and you'd never know the difference. So how do you know right now, in fact, that you're not in the matrix? How do you know that you're not a brain in a vat? The idea here, obviously, is that it's got complete input fidelity, it's got complete output fidelity, and all the effectivenesses that are effective in life are also effective there, giving you total belief in it and giving you total immersion.